Welcome to Western Nurseries and How Does Your Garden Grow? We're here with Derek Borgensano to learn how to best bring birds to your backyard. He will give us tips on how to bring more varieties of wild birds to your feeders. Birds are visual and are attracted to certain foods over others based on the color, the texture, and the nutritional needs. Let's find out more. Thank you for coming. Kind of on this uh, rescheduled short notice um, wild bird food seminar uh, being uh, sponsored by Lyric here. My name is Derek Borgasano. I'm a regional sales manager for Lebanon Seaboard. So Lebanon Seaboard is the parent company that I work for. And other than that parent company, we manufacture a couple of brands, one of them being Lyric, which we're going to talk about today. And then we also manufacture some fertilizers and grass seed, of which Western Nurseries has here today. Um, Fairway Formula, it's called, Greenview. And then we also manufacture a national brand called Preen. It's a weed preventer. You've probably seen it before. Hopefully you're using it. It's a yellow container. It either comes in a jug, pail, or a bag. You apply it out, and it will suppress seed from germinating your wheat and your landscape beds, I should say, or even your edible gardens. So if you're not using it, you certainly should try it. If you like de-weeding your beds, which I'm sure most people don't today, years ago it was nice therapy. Most people today have no desire to do it. Preen's what you should be using, and it's very safe for kids, pets, and what have you in the environment. It's called Preen, P-R-E-E-N. Yellow container, you can't miss it, okay? So at any event, let me start talking about Lyric and wild bird food. You have a couple of things that I you know, passed out. One is the one-page sheet, which is basically a backyard bird guide. You know, this is a generic bird guide. It's, it is sponsored or, you know, brought to you by Lyric, but it is a generalized, you know, information to help you be successful setting up your backyard to invite the birds, you know, to your yard, okay? You also got a lovely pen. I have more pens if, if folks want more pens because obviously <laughs> we're missing some people. Um, feel free to grab pens, extra pens on your way out. Extra one of these if you want the, the backyard guide. I will say also, and we were talking about it a little earlier, you, you certainly can reference or find more information by going to lyricbirdfood.com. That is at the bottom of this one page sheet. You find the website right there. Um, we're also on Facebook, social media, um, and that is really a lot of the information, especially what's going on like right now with Lyric. You'll find more on Facebook on the social media platform than you will probably on our website. We were talking about this earlier. Example is, is locations to find, you know, Lyric. You all know that you can come here, certainly, to Western Nurseries, first and foremost. But if you need to, you know, search it somewhere else or for a family friend or what have you, um, you can simply go to our Facebook page and you'll find that information there. If you go to our website, it's, it's not updated. We're more focused on social media these days. So with a... With all that, let me start to get into the presentation, and this is very informal in the sense, obviously, we're, we're a very small body of people here. Feel free to you know, interject with a question or a comment or what have you, or any of your experiences um, that I might not have mentioned that might be helpful to everybody else, okay? All right, so let's get going. I hope that you can see. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that it's clear enough for all of you to see. Um, but, you know, we as a company and specifically the brand Lyric, our focus is really, we're asking a couple of questions here, you know, what the consumer wants. And, you know, what we have found out with all of our research, and our research really is combined with Cornell. We work with the scientists over there, up in uh, upstate New York, and our manufacturing facility for Lyric is actually up in Binghamton, New York, so just outside there, uh, you know, Syracuse, you know, University. That's where we grew up. So our manufacturing facility is right there. And this is micro-crafting wild bird food. Think of like micro-brew, like micro-brew these days right now. It's, you know, it's, it's a big following. There's a, there's a big you know, passage with this right now. That is, is that it's part of the community. It's locally fresh. We're doing the exact same thing with Lyric. We, you know, we're based up there in upstate New York. We're a regional you know, manufacturer as far as the, the brand itself, Lyric. We don't sell this nationally you won't find it on the west coast you know unfortunately we're trying to to get progression into there um, 
but the guys and the girls that work up in this manufacturing facility, they're actually hand making this. This is manually being done. You know, big tubs of raw materials are coming in. They're taking these raw materials, putting them in hoppers, and they're mixing them up, and then they're bagging them in these bags that you see. And we're sourcing all the nutrients, you know, all the peanuts and stuff like that locally. The only thing that we outsource outside the United States and not locally is niger seed or thistle seed sometimes it's called. And you can only get that out in Africa. It's the only place that you could source it. So it's, we have to, we don't have a choice. But everything else that you see in our bags is all locally sourced. So there's a lot to be said for that. So at any rate, um, you know, so we ask consumers, you know, what do you want when you're looking for wild bird food? And 50% of the consumers believe that, you know, they provide a nutritional value to the birds. So they're looking for nutritional value for the birds. They're not looking to just get something, put it in a feeder, and then it's not going to really help the birds. Okay? And that is exactly what we have with Lyric. So that is the finest nutrients. Our tagline is, is you know, the finest nutrients. You see it on all the bags. The finest nutrients, and you see the difference. And it you know, coincides with what I'm talking about here. And then 98% of the consumers want to track the widest varieties of birds. You know, with all that being said, Lyric is a premium wild bird food. <clears throat> we are putting nutrients in there that the, that the birds do desire or want. And that is to attract more birds to the feeder, the desirable birds to the feeder, and the such. They we don't. Sorry, they communicate with each other and say, hey, come check out what's in this bag. Yeah, according to you know the scientists over there at Cornell, that they certainly do. They you know they chirp. Their chirping is uh, part of their communication with other birds, and certainly even like predators to keep them away and stuff like that. So yes, yep, they do. They're very um, uh, community-oriented birds are. Um, so, for example, some things that we do, like if you've ever heard of red millet. So red millet is more of a filler. We don't use it in any of our mixes. It's the one thing that the bird you'll see will kick out of the feeder and it'll be sitting underneath the feeder. They have no desire for it. They don't want it. Um, but there are other you know, manufacturers out there that will use that uh, nutrient um, as more of a filler. It's a low cost to produce. It adds weight to the bag. It, helps keep retail down. When we look at Lyric, the retail is not the lowest price point. Again, it's a premium because you're, the birds and you are getting what you're looking for. Birds see your feeder and the birds are getting the nutrients they want. I'll take it one step further. It is in the presentation. I'll keep going in the presentation in a second. Is we have something called golden safflower. There is white safflower and then there's golden safflower. We are, to my knowledge, I don't know anybody else and there's a lot of manufacturers out there and I'm very familiar with a lot of them. We're the only manufacturer that's using golden safflower, or Nutristaff as it's called, in our wild bird mixes, in particular Cardinal and a few of the others, and we also sell it as a straight. Why do we do this? This is the premium. This is a, really talking about the premium when we talk premium. Well, golden safflower has three benefits. Most importantly to the birds and the homeowner, you know, you guys that are going in and purchasing this stuff. One is, is it has 25% more protein and then it has 40% more fat. That is specifically what the birds are desiring or need, especially during the winter months, but throughout the season. The third thing, which might even be the most important thing, because how many of you love squirrels? That is a natural repellent. Squirrels do not like golden safflower. They have no desire to eat it. They'd have to be really, really, really hungry in order to even want to consider it. I wish I had a video of my own house because I've got several bird feeders in my backyard. Um, and <laughs> you can see one of my feeders. It's a platform feeder. So it's very accessible to anybody and everybody, specifically. And I do it on purpose for the squirrels. And I put just the golden safflower in there. It doesn't even get touched by them. It's really amazing. So there's something that's a natural repellent for you, okay, as a nutrient that's beneficial to the birds. Like, probably one of the most beneficial things for them. Okay? Cool. Let's keep going. There's our tagline. I already talked about that. Um, and, you know, here, see the ingredients difference? I talked a lot about it already. If we look at some of our competitors, there's a lot of things in there that I'm not really sure exactly what they are. I mean, there's a source of DHA. There's some preservatives in there and stuff. We don't use any of that stuff. 
The thing that we use, and you'll find it in all of our smaller bags, is something called an oxygenator. It's a stay fresh technology, and I'm going to talk about that too as we go along. It's this little tag here. Basically, it's this little packet that we put inside the bag. And actually, this is used for human consumption food. You'll find this in the grocery store with some packaged products. We put that in here, and what it does is sucks out the oxygen out of the bag. So this does two things when we're talking wild bird food. One is it keeps it as fresh as possible, it extends the life, the shelf life of the product. So that is, is that when the bird actually goes to go consume it, it's nice and fresh. It's as fresh as possible for them. And then guess what? Because it is and they like it, they're coming back for more. The other thing that it does is it helps with insect infestation. We, since we've done this now, it's been five years with this new packaging, the Ziploc, nice, you know, um, images that we have on here, the little see-through area so you can see the exact seed that's in there and then using the Stay Fresh technology, excuse me, um, we've had zero issues with insects. Mealybugs is usually a big issue. They'll find their way in and they'll just start harvesting right inside the bags. We don't have any issues with that. So it's very, very fresh, you know, when it gets to the bird, never mind when you know you're coming in to purchase it off shelf. It's very, very fresh, okay? And you can see some of the different mixes here and some comparisons. I'm not going to go into great detail. Here's the golden safflower I talked about. Again, I talked about we're using it in Cardinal. I talked about the benefits. The other thing I, I kind of failed to mention is a thinner hull too, so it's much easier for the birds to access to eat. Less waste as well. Because white safflower actually, the difference between really white safflower and golden safflower is, besides the nutrients and all that, is that the white safflower actually has the shell still on the outside. That's why it's white. This has been basically, the shell has been taken off and you're left with basically the meat, as we call it, inside. So it's much easier for the birds to access and eat it. We've had a lot of great consumer feedback. I, I wanna mention this, and you were talking about this earlier when we were talking and how pleased you are and with Lyric, um, and we, we've got you know, consumers right in our backyard. This, this particular person was out there in Western Connecticut and he's, uh, you know, for 20 years he's been in the newspaper business and uh, he studied a variety of different birds. And the Fine Tunes product, which is this product right here, this is his favorite. This is a no waste mix, meaning you could put this on your deck or patio and nothing's gonna fall to the ground. And this one in particular is chopped up finely. So we have a couple of different no waste mixes. This is one. This is chopped up finely for the smaller beak birds. Okay. And then we have another no waste mix, which is called the light. And this is not, you know, finely tuned or ground up. This is still the whole nuts. Same scenario though. We wouldn't have anything fall to the ground. There's no shells. It's all been de-shelled. There's that stay fresh technology, that oxygen absorber as we call it. Just so everybody knows, is in the larger bags, anything that's 50, actually should say 20 pounds or larger, we can't use that same technology because what happens when we do that, you can see what happens to this bag, you can see what happens to some of the other bags. If you take those large 20 or even 40 pound bags and try to stack them like this, it's very hard to work with. So in order to help, you know, as far as merchandising and certainly for the stores, is, is we use something called MicroPerf technology. And MicroPerf is a very fine holes. It lets it breathe. It lets it allow to be flexible and for us to work with it, of which then that MicroPerf is not supposed to allow little insects inside. That's mostly what we're doing that for, is to try to keep the insects out. It's a big issue with wild bird food besides little critters. Uh, Niger seed we talked about. <clears throat> uh, so I'm going to talk about some of the different mixes in the in detail as far as what they attract, and then also, and I'm sorry about that. Also, what um, what's actually the uh, ingredients inside? So you know, chickadee. We're one of the few manufacturers that actually produces a blend that's specifically for chickadees or titmouse or nuthatches, okay? 
In particular, this is unique because yes, we got black oil sunflower, sunflower kernels, but then we have something really different and unique that you know the chickadees are attracted to, which is pecans and like pistachios. So some really good stuff that you know a lot of it you probably you know consume, want to consume. Um, finch. I don't know if anybody noticed as I'm talking about this and you're looking at some of our packaging, we've actually color coordinated our packaging with like the colors of the different birds that you would see. Kind of making it easier to for you to find, you know, which bag would be the best. But at the same time, if you ever had a question and you weren't sure which these mixes would attract which birds, on the back of every single one of the bags, including even the straights, we have pictures and the names of all the birds that these mixes will track. How is the finch different from Niger? So we got a variety of different things in here in the French, where Niger is just straight. Yeah, oh, so we have Niger seed in here. We also have canary seed, which is a little different too, of which they do desire that too. So we're adding different things in here that they would want. Kernel pieces, uh, canola seed. So there's some different things in here, yeah. Yeah, Re really, really different, unique. It really uh, mixes it R. You don't find them in a lot of other products. Yeah, I mean, the predominantly it's Niger seed. You know, everybody usually just uses straight Niger seed. And you certainly can, and you'll be successful, but attract more, more colors, more varieties. Uh, woodpecker, this is more larger nuts. This is a no waste mix as well. It's all been deshelled, so there's no shells on this one as well. And something in that's actually in that's pretty cool dehydrated cherries and raisins. And then pumpkin seeds. Yeah, so there's a variety of feeders. I mean, there's platform feeders, and you can see some of them down here. And there's types of feeders, tube feeders. Um, there's tube feeders with trays at the bottom. You have hopper feeders. I mean, any one of those, as long as the nuts are obviously going to fall down through, I would say anything that has a larger seed, you're probably better off with more of a platform feeder because there's more room and the larger birds, there's more area for them to actually access it. Doesn't mean in the tube feeder they wouldn't be able to access it. But with the tube feeder, you're, more, you're better off to have smaller seeds in there. You know, something more like the fine-tuned mix, the finch mix. The supreme would be okay and certainly the chickadee. Um, but as we start getting into like the light, the woodpecker, and even cardinal, I put that more in a platform feeder. That would be better. Where there's a will, there's a way, though. <laughs> so <clears throat> if you're having struggles, having birds come to your feeder, my suggestion is, is that you go with this product here. This is Supreme. And Supreme is our, it's our best seller. And the reason why it is is because it has the most nutrients and it attracts the most birds to the feeder, okay? And we have this in a small four and a half pound bag. This is a 20 pound bag and also a 40 pound bag. And just to, real quickly, just to kind of go through what's in here, there's black oil sunflower seed, which is, I call it boss. There's uh, white proso millet seed. So we have some millet seed in here, cracked corn, shelled peanuts, safflower seed. We also have black striped sunflower seed in here. Uh, pecans, pistachios, again, uh, niger seed, canary seed, sunflower seed, and golden millet seed, which is different than red millet. Actually has nutritional value and I like that. Um, so there's a wide variety of nutrients in there for a wide variety of different birds. And again, if you're having not so much success having birds come to your feeder, my st suggestion, strong suggestion would be to go with a supreme wild bird mix to get started. So again, I talked about this delight mix, great for patios, decks, even gardens, um, high protein mix, shell free, waste free, attract a wide variety of birds. This is the other one I want to talk to, fruit and nut. Fruit and nut is actually like trail mix, I swear. 
It's actually probably better than a lot of trail mixes you buy and consume. I eat a lot of trail mix myself, so I'm kind of familiar with it. I mean, this is a high energy mix for larger beak birds. Let me just tell you what's in here. So we got shelled peanuts, steamed, steamed, crimp corn. We're one of the few manufacturers that steams our corn. Yeah, we steam it, it makes it easier for the birds. Um, almonds, cashews, boss, black olive sunflower seed, sunflower kernels, Valencia peanuts. I know. I know. Are you getting this? <laughs> Pecans, pistachios, shelled pumpkin seeds, dried cranberries, dried raisins. It is, honestly, it is trail mix. Fruit and nut. This is our number two seller, gaining on Supreme. I mean, we're attracting a wide variety of birds. Now we're attracting a wide variety of birds. I mean, from your larger beaks, to, I mean, woodpeckers, um, titmouse, um, let's go right here, nuthatches, you got it right here, robins, orioles, or anything, large beak, you know, so. The larger, prettier birds, that's to say. We talked about fine tunes. You asked about that wild bird mix. And we have a variety of straights. I talked about the golden safflower. We talked about the benefits of that. We're going to talk about a few of these other. I mean, black oil sunflower seed, that's in all mixes. You, you find that in all mixes. We do sell it as a straight. We sell it in a 5, 10, and a 25-pound bag. Um, a lot of consumers, they like to buy straights and then make their own mix. And you certainly could do that. We certainly have the straights to make your own mix if you wanted to. Because we have the black oil of sunflower, we have cracked corn. This is a no waste economical food for the birds. Um, a lot of doves, obviously, they, they like that. Um, again, this is steamed, so it's a little different. Niger seed, we talked about niger seed especially for those finches. Um, golden safflower, again, is the 40% more protein, 25% more fat. That's the first thing that goes. Peanut pieces, this is a no waste as well, 100% edible. And then we have straight uh, sunflower kernels, 100% edible, again, no waste. All these uh, seeds, straights, have no shells, keep talking about. That's, that is really it as far as what I have to present and go over. Thank you, Derek. Great information. I'm going right home to give it a try. This is Deb Moore from How Does Your Garden Grow and HCAT TV.